Well, the GOP race for the White House is once again heating up. As we told you yesterday, Donald Trump picked up Sarah Palin as an endorsement and out on the campaign trail. And the latest CNN poll finds Trump now holding a 20-point lead among Republican voters in New Hampshire. That's more than double his nearest competitor, Ted Cruz. Don Champion has more on how the GOP candidates are fighting for votes. Donald Trump is riding high off the endorsement of Tea Party favorite Sarah Palin. Wednesday, the former Republican vice presidential nominee hit the road with Trump in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Are you ready to stump for Trump? I'm here to support the next president of the United States of America. Everybody wanted her endorsement. She said, what you're doing, Donald, is amazing. It's a movement, and it is a movement. Palin's endorsement is looked at as being a blow to Trump's rival, Ted Cruz. The men are neck and neck in Iowa, less than two weeks away from the caucuses. Campaigning in New Hampshire, Cruz tried painting Trump as the new Washington establishment candidate. There are a whole lot of people in this country that feel exactly the same way, that are fed up with Republican leadership, that makes all sorts of promises to get elected and then sells this country down the river. Hillary Clinton will win. Trying to create a spark, Jeb Bush released a new online ad Wednesday featuring a fake news story showing Hillary Clinton winning the election if Trump becomes the Republican nominee. Candidates like Bush are hoping the billionaire and Cruz will lose momentum once voting starts. The President of the United States needs to have a steady hand, needs to have leadership skills, needs to have a backbone and a heart and a brain. On Saturday, the Des Moines Register newspaper in Iowa will unveil its highly influential endorsement of a GOP candidate. Don Champion, CBS News. On the Democratic side, rising numbers for Bernie Sanders have put Hillary Clinton on the defense. Yeah, the latest poll numbers show that Sanders is up by 27 points in New Hampshire and just two points behind Hillary Clinton in Iowa.